So this question has four parts to it. The first part, it asks us to create a graph based on the data that's given to us. There are five decades, 1940 and between 1940 and 1980. And on each decade, there is a rate of changing population. So the table shows growth rates for a population over time. Use this data to sketch a smooth curve relating the two variables. That's what this graph is right here. On the y-axis, you see that we have the change in population. And on the x-axis, we have the time in the decades. And the areas in between each decade is a rough guess because it only gives us the change in population on the decades themselves. So these um, slopes between the decades are just a rough guess, but for the purposes of this example, it's not that important that we have those exactly, um, exactly right. There would be no way for us to get them exactly right because the question doesn't really give us, us them anyway. So the second part of the question asks us to draw rectangles on this graph to help underestimate the total change in the world's population between 1940 and 1980. So the way we're gonna do that is we're going to draw four rectangles underneath this curve and estimate the total area. So if we want to underestimate the um, total change, we're gonna start from the left-hand side of the curve, draw a rectangle over to the next decade, and then complete the rectangle like this. For the second rectangle, we're going to connect up to the graph, draw another rectangle over to the next decade, and complete the rectangle. Then we're going to continue this pattern until we have four rectangles for the four time periods. And then we are going to find the area of each rectangle using the base times height formula for the area of a rectangle. The base is going to be delta x, which is this formula right here. The way we find delta x is we take b, which is the the upper time that we are going to, the, the upper time of the graph minus A, which is the lower time of the graph. We're gonna subtract those two, and then we're gonna divide that by N, which is the number of rectangles. So 1980 minus 1940 divided by four is going to be 40 over four, which is just 10. Then we are going to take the height of each rectangle and multiply it by delta x. So the underestimate is going to look like this. We have delta x times the height, base times height of each rectangle, 10 times 32 plus 10 times 38 plus 10 times 59 plus 10 times 71. That's going to equal 2000 when you plug it into your calculator. So part A says the underestimate is 2000 million because the rate of change is in millions of people per year. Part B is to find the overestimate. So we're going to have delta x stay the same as 10, except this time we're going to start our rectangles on the on the um, right side of the of the curve. So we're going to start from this blue dot right here, connect the rectangles like this, and this time whenever we add the base times the height, it's going to be more than the curve. So this is going to give us an overestimate. 
So when we do base times height here, it's going to be base times it, which is 10 times 77 plus 10 times 71 plus 10 times 59 plus 10 times 38. And that's going to equal 2,450 million. And that is the overestimate of the world's population. Part C is to find the true change in the population, which is simply um, the population in 1980 minus the population in 1940, which is 4,300 or 4,639 minus 2,476, which equals 2,163, which is the true change in population. So we see the underestimate was 2,000 million, the overestimate was 2,450 million, and the true change was 2,163 million.